Today, we're going to talk about how to pick a right go-to-market model for your organization. Specifically, should I go inbound or should I go outbound? All right. Well, one thing that most people think about when they hear inbound and outbound is, how big are my deals? And people tend to gravitate towards an inbound sales model, maybe with SDRs or inside salespeople picking up the phone when they have smaller deals, and go outbound prospecting, maybe even account-based prospecting, when they have larger deals. This is a fine thing to think about, and it does apply to some extent, because you're thinking about the cost it will take to acquire each of those customers. However, let me give you another lens to think about this. Namely, are you addressing a mature market or are you addressing a completely new market? Is what you're selling something that is a better, bigger, better version of something that already exists, faster, cheaper, whatever the case may be, or are you creating an entirely new category? Now, why does this matter? Well, it matters greatly for the marketing strategy that you are going to align with this sales strategy, right? We're talking about go-to-market, marketing and sales together. So when you're doing a mature market, your marketing strategy is likely going to be a digital strategy. This is the world where people are using Google to find what they need. They might be going to review sites like GetApp or G2Crowd, et cetera. So this is a heavily digital strategy. You want to make sure that wherever people go to ask their peers or search for information, they will find your brand. So you're gonna invest in search engine optimization, review sites, YouTube videos, and uh, paid uh, search, right? Paid social campaigns like that. However, now imagine I'm creating an entirely new market. Think about the early days of marketing automation. I have a customer, they have a storytelling platform that CEOs can use to drive transformation in their company. That's kind of a new thing, right? I don't know that as a CEO, I would go online and look for a storytelling platform to help me influence the culture or the results into my company. So in this case, your strategy is unlikely to be supported by paid search or paid social. I need to get out there and find people where they are at. So this particular client is doing keynote um, speaking opportunities at large HR conferences, right? Places where people already hang out and where they can influence uh, their way of thinking and, and you know, explain that there's maybe a new way to impact their organization and to change culture. So it could be a heavily events-based strategy. It's definitely a heavily thought leadership-based strategy. You'll probably find yourself working with Gardner and Forrester, or maybe, and I've done this several times, create a new category by creating new analyst firms. When I was way back when at a security software company and we were inventing log management that didn't exist, we partnered with a security training institute, the SANS Institute, to start publishing research reports about how logs are this great source of security information, the digital equivalent of the security camera. Um, when I was at um, a predictive marketing company, we partnered with an analyst that focused on describing the need for customer data platforms. And when I was at a customer success company, we partnered with customer support analysts to become uh, advocates for customer success strategies. Anyway, all of these are examples of thought leadership, right, of creating a new market. Now, these strategies are often very well suited to pair with an outbound call campaign just to make sure that people find some of that thought leadership content or that book you've written, you know, about open innovation that all um, corporates should consider. So there you have it, inbound versus outbound. Definitely think about the size, right, of the deals that you're doing, but probably more importantly, think about how mature your market is. And based on that, place your bets 
in your demand generation and marketing campaigns more heavily tilted towards digital or more heavily tilted towards events and thought leadership.